And we've got two cubes and one cone placed for the Red Alliance. Looks like the Blue Alliance has placed two cubes. Red Alert working on getting that dock and engage. Precision Guessworks do the same for the Red Alliance. Riley Wildbots coming in with another cube for the Blue Alliance. And they're able to get it onto that lower row. We've got Argyle Attack coming in with a cube for the Red Alliance, also placing it into their lower row. Meanwhile, Castle Robotics is coming in with a cone, trying to get it onto that high row in their co-op grid, and they're able to successfully place it. Castle Robotics is trying to grab another cone, hoping to place another one for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, their two team members are both coming in with cones to place. Persistent Guestworks lining it up to finish off that link in their co-op grid. And they end up getting it into the low row. Red Alert working on placing a cone for the Blue Alliance as well. And they're able to successfully place it onto that top row. Castle Robotics coming in with another cone for the Red Alliance, trying to finish off that link. And they're able to finish off that link, earning five points for the cone as well as five points for the link. Precision Guessworks trying to finish off the link on the far side. And they're lining it up. And they get a place, getting another link for the Red Alliance. We've got Red Alert as well as Elk Logics, both trying to place cones for the Blue Alliance. Red Alert gets theirs on. Elk Logics is still trying to line theirs up, but they're not giving up yet. They're trying to finish off that link and get their team an additional 10 points when they do. And they get those 10 points. These teams have 20 seconds left, but it looks like they're working on getting extra points from game pieces. Elk Logic decides it's time to try to get docked and engage. Their team member, Riley Wildbots, joining them on the Blue Alliance. We've got Argyle Attack trying to get engaged on the Red Alliance. And it looks like we've got a dock and engage on the Blue Alliance, which could mean this score will end up being a lot closer than you'd think. Let's see those scores. The winner is the Red Alliance with a final score of 94 to 88. What a close match. Both teams earning ranking points.